Hi, welcome to Jet Support. Today we are working on a Falcon 7X that has fuel contamination inside the, the fuel tanks. Today we are working on a Falcon 7X, but what we are doing here is applicable for more aircraft types. working on today are the left and the right hand center feeder tanks uh, which can be accessed through the main landing gear wheel wells you can see that over here I'll show you uh, where we open the panels so as you can see the uh, fuel tank has been opened and we installed a ventilation hose inside the tank uh, so we can allow the, uh, the fuel vapors to be ventilated out, out of the tank uh, in general, we ventilate for about 24 hours uh, before we start measuring if it's safe to enter the, the fuel tank. Um, so we're dealing with uh, kerosene gas right now and we want to avoid the risk of having an explosion or uh, for our own health um, that we don't uh, have too much particles in the air. Uh, so this device measures the air and we extended it with this device that we're gonna throw into the tank and it sucks air uh, right through this nozzle right here and that way we can measure the air whether it's safety for us to go in and be around the tank and operate with different devices inside the tank. Right so we're, uh, we're monitoring the, uh, the air quality inside the tank uh, and if we use a device like this uh, we measure oxygen quantity, uh, we measure CO quantity and most importantly we measure the LEL which is a uh, lower explosion limit and the VOC which is uh, uh, volatile organic compounds this is our fuel vapor uh, and this has to be uh, below 50 and the LEL needs to be below 10 um, so you can see we have 0% LEL so we're, if, in that respect it's safe to go inside the tank uh, the VOC is at 2 parts per million so uh, together with the oxygen and the CO quantity uh, we should be safe to breathe. Fuel contamination we can treat with a biocide. Biocide is used in a standard interval in the maintenance program or on condition. Uh, sometimes the fuel contamination is, is so bad that we can't use the biocide anymore. The biocide is no longer enough. So then we have to mechanically remove the contamination. And we can do that by scraping by hand or, or uh, pressure washing, which, you are, which we are performing today. So what we're doing now is uh, pressure washing the, uh, the interior of the, of the feeder tank. Uh, because the contaminants are, are stuck in there, we are using uh, pressure, uh, pressurized water um, in a, a high temperature to clean out the contaminants in the tank. We are flushing it through, um, yeah, through the removed equipment, um, yeah, let it drain. We have to uh, flush everything out, otherwise we get contamination again. So I can see some contaminants left. Uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, continue our cleaning process uh, as we haven't removed everything yet. I have some in the area here. Let's see at the jet pumps area. Yeah, I still have some contaminants left in the uh, in the jet pump area. I need to spray some more here. in the back here as well it's not much but we still need to uh, we still need to remove this the tank binnenkomt precies achter dat rand randje en uh, helemaal achterin in die uh, in dit gedeelte waar de waar die jetpomps liggen allemaal mm -hmm. daar achterin moeten we ook nog verder afspraken okay. You can 
hear the alarm sounding now, so that means we have too much uh, uh, vapor in the air, which can cause uh, uh, nausea or even explosion risk. So we're going to attend first what's, uh, what's going on, check the meter, what's going on, and then uh, ventilate the system a little bit more. Yeah, it looks like he did a good job. Just need to flush the remainings uh, out because everything's loose and everything's removed. Yeah, just need to, uh, we just need to flush the rest, all the loose bits out now, and then we're done. And we can dry it out. All right. Good. So we got the, uh, the ventilation hose back in. Uh, we have to make sure that the, the surroundings are properly sealed, otherwise um, we don't get a proper ventilation. We want the ventilation to come from the farthest side of the tank and extract it through the, through the hose. Uh, so we have to block off the, side, uh, the sides of the, of the hose. Uh, usually we use uh, rags or something similar uh, to block it off. Thank you for joining us in this journey to a clean tank. We're going outside and refuel the aircraft. Hopefully no leaks. Jet support.